Okay, John, uh, day one, it's Wednesday. Hey, what's the date? Uh, no. 13th or 14th. Uh, it's Wednesday uh, morning, almost lunch. We just finished uh, power washing. So we scraped, power washed, um, got everything cleaned up and big soaking mess, which is what power washing entails, unfortunately. Um, just kind of letting you know what's going on. I do these videos. I put them on YouTube. I don't actually put the address um, or any information like that, but I like to do this so that the homeowner uh, who are absentee homeowners uh, can see exactly what we're doing. Um, so pressure washed it all out. Got her pretty cleaned up. We're going to have to pull a lot of bushes back. We take pride in the fact that we don't have to cut anything down to paint. I just use a rope system of tent stakes and uh, use my son and whoever, and they pull everything back. We paint, um, and then we put everything back. So I don't like to cut down a bunch of stuff. Um, so house is pressure washed, um, but that leads, and the garage is pressure washed as well. So that leads me to the next thing I'm gonna be calling you about today. Um, I don't wanna take your money to paint this, this fence because uh, it will literally fall over within no time. This is really bad. It is rotted. Almost all these posts are rotted. And we've gone down it. That's got a foot of movement. Um, all of them are rotted and mushy on the bottom. Um, this whole booger. Like the the garage, we can make look nice. It's pretty, it's really good shape. But this is bad. I mean, this is to the point we put our trailer in here, obviously. Um, but this is to the point where this guy. I mean, look at this. This thing is going to fall. It's already leaning into the street or into the curb uh, or sidewalk. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, I, I would humbly suggest. I mean, I could just prep it up. And it wasn't a large part of the job, mind you. But I could prep it up and I could charge you. But uh, I, I, think, I think it would probably be paramount that it's either replaced i don't even think it can be repaired at this point and it's a shame because it's a really cool handmade fence but um so that's where that's at i just wanted to show it to you um unless you kind of like i mean we got this whole thing is basically full it's just rotted but i just don't i know you're not here videos give you eyes of the work site i just really don't want a situation where I go in and do a bunch of work for you and you come up and say, yeah, you did a great job prepping and painting that fence. Thanks a lot. And um, yeah, it fell over three months later anyway. Why didn't you at least tell me and save me some money? Uh, Cause it looks, it has to, it's gonna have to be replaced. Um, I wish there was a way around it. That's the nicest way I can put it. So bedside manner, I don't have a lot of it. So anyway, uh, back of the house is pressure washed. Um, we are good uh, tomorrow morning, so we have to let it dry because we have a lot of areas that they didn't actually caulk, um, which isn't a big deal. It's in the price that we're going to do. We're going to caulk everything correctly, so uh, it's not extra or anything. But so the reason why I like to hold off is because we can't mask windows because they're going to be dripping and we can't start caulking in our stuff because they're too are dripping we need to be able to have those clear in there so before we start caulking it all up and getting it all nice so uh right now it is soaked this is the easy day um we will start prepping tomorrow when everything's dry and uh yep and we'll get that whole party started so we will be back first thing in the morning um and here we go so i'll talk to you soon